this is what it remains from um, if you use this command into your world. Look at the snow that generated thanks to the blizzard item. Um, this is what happens when you have a earthquake. And these other things here are the paths left by my tornadoes. Hey guys, this is Rad and welcome back to a new Minecraft video. Do you see this world here around me? Well, not all of it will survive today's one command creation. This is because I have added more Minecraft natural disasters with only two command blocks. So, to import this machine into your world, you will have to place two command blocks, one on top of the other. Then you go on my webpage, which is linked in the description of this video. You copy and paste the first command in the bottom command block. You copy and paste the second command on the upper command block and you activate only the bottom one by clicking here and clicking on done. And the machine will be should be generated in just a few seconds, as it always does. Of course, you can right click here to uh, activate or deactivate the machine, or you can right click here to get the items added by this new one command creation. As you can see, it's really big, but it adds only three new different natural disasters because they are a bit more advanced than the older ones and they deal damage to a bigger area into your world. If you haven't watched already my other Minecraft natural disasters, I will leave a card appearing on the screen right now. So let's get started. This command adds, whoops, tornadoes, blizzards, and of course, earthquakes into your vanilla Minecraft world. So let's start with the tornadoes because they are the first ones in the list. And these ones, they will deal damage in the area where they will pass and I really like to place them where there are forests because you can actually see the path left by this tornado and I really hope that it's going to go in that direction if I'm not wrong it will go in that direction yes it is going all right guys so as you can see first of all um, tornadoes they will of course leave a path behind them and they will destroy all of the blocks on which it passes all of the natural blocks for example um, it doesn't destroy stone blocks it destroys all of the natu natural blocks and most of the blocks that you use in buildings such as brick blocks and uh, glass etc etc wool is also destroyed and one cool thing about the tornadoes is that well you can see that they have a levitation effect this is because it will make me fly up in the air and not only me but also mobs so if I take for example a cow here you'll see that it will start to fly up ooh I'm flying up as well alright let me go down and uh, oh yeah they will die pretty quickly come on alright the levitation effect is trying to bring me up so we have here come on cow alright we have some cows you can see that they will go up and of course once they reach the <laughs> look at the meat once they reach the um, the tornado they will die because of course uh, I don't think that you guys will be able to survive inside a tornado in real life so here you can see the really nice path I mean I really love um, the path that is left by tornadoes all of the uh, dirt blocks if there are dirt blocks in the path of these tornadoes they will be thrown up in the air and uh, you can see that it just destroys everything where it passes imagine if you have your house here and it destroys it well if you're scared about this problem uh, you guys have asked me under the other video to uh, make something that will protect for example a certain area into your world and yes I have listened to your request guys and I have created created a device that will protect you from all of the different types of natural disasters not only from this command but also from the other command this is because you can use both the commands in conjunction and of course this item will work you know, to both the commands so if you drop down a nether star voila let's drop it eight uh, redstone torches six seven eight and eight iron ingots all right if you drop them down together you will be able to craft a disaster neutralizer so this guy here basically if you have it placed into your world it will make it impossible for natural disasters to spawn in an area of 150 blocks away from this guy here so even if i place this guy here now you will see that the um the tornado disappeared and also one other cool thing about this is that if you get far from it you will know uh, if you got out of the protected area so if i go far from it 150 blocks a message will appear uh, where is it? Oh, there it is in my action bar. So you are now outside the protected area and if I go closer All right, I found it. So you can see here that if I get closer uh, It shows me that I am inside the protected area if I get far from it It will tell me that I am outside the protected area. So yeah, you will know basically what is um, Which is the protected area so you can place one of these devices for example where you have your base and you won't have to uh, worry about 
uh, natural disasters. These natural disasters also work in the same way as the other ones, so basically relative to creepers. Some of the creepers will be triggered. Right, so where is that guy? Because I have to remove it, otherwise I won't be able to show you guys the next creations. Come on, where did they place it? Oh, yeah, there it is. Alright, so if you guys want to remove it, just destroy the block on which it is placed and you will get the spawn egg back. Then I wanna show you guys the next natural disaster, which is a blizzard. And actually, this is really, really nice to uh, watch because it basically generates a lot, lot, lot of snow. So you see this taiga here, well, this snow is nothing compared to what a blizzard will leave behind it. So let's place the blizzard um, armor stand here. And first of all, you will get, um, you'll see that you will get a slowness effect. Of course, many, many, many um, snow particles will be generated and a lot of snow is going to be stacked up, as you can see here. So if I get far from the area, um, I will not have the blindness effect anymore. And you can see that um, the snow is going to generate pretty, pretty fast. And one cool thing that you can do, you can place more of these blizzard items here. And uh, let's place maybe other two of them. And well, the snow this time is going to start st stuck up really, really quickly. Don't don't worry about the lag. Once you get out from the area, particles will not be generated anymore, and it doesn't cause lag. This is because I have used well, actually it causes a lot of a, bi a bit of lag, but not that much because I didn't use armor sense for this one. I have used the new area after cloud um, entities. So as you can see, the snow is going to stack up really quickly, and meanwhile, while it does it. I am going to show you guys the third and last item added by these two command creation. This is the earthquake and I need to pay attention, alright, uh, yes, I'm going to generate the earthquake right here. If I place it here, you will see that the ground, oh, I'm kinda lagging, maybe it's better if I kill, for example, kill at E type equals item. Alright, maybe it's not the best idea to use all of these guys here together. You can do it if you have a pretty good computer. I have a pretty good computer, but it's going. this one is lagging a lot. Um, maybe it's better if I show it to you guys in my um, super flat world. I have no idea why I'm lagging so much, but basically, this really big ravine is going to be generated. Once the, the, the things, once all of the blocks are removed and when it reaches the bedrock level, it will not destroy the bedrock level but, level, but instead it will place some lava on the bottom. Now, sadly, basically, probably because I'm recording, I am lagging a bit, it's la my world is lagging a bit, and I can't show you guys exactly how nicely this thing generates uh, it's a lot faster, a lot, a lot smoother, but anyways, you will get a really big ravine and uh, yeah, <laughs> that basically will go through your world. And now again, here you may want to use the, uh, the neutralizer if you have a house because otherwise this guy here is going to go through your house and destroy everything. It doesn't care if you have diamonds in it, it doesn't care if you have anything else in it. So, um, let me remove it really quickly and let me show you guys how it is in a... Um, super flat world because yes I'm lagging quite a bit here and also let me show you guys what I did in my test world alright so this is my test world and now guys you can see um, this is what happens when you place earthquakes and actually let me place one so you guys can see it alright let me place an earthquake down here maybe alright earthquake alright yeah now it's going it's working a lot smoother uh, so, first of all, the earth is shaking, as you can see, and the ground will start to fall down just like a sinkhole inside the ground, and when this guy here reaches the bedrock level, um, it will place some lava. Come on, let me out. And uh, it will last for about two and a half minutes, if I'm not wrong, and then, of course, all of the entities will be removed, and you will end up having something like this. I mean, look at that. You can again, of course, place multiple of these at the same time if you have a computer that can handle it. But yes, this is what it remains from um, if you use this command into your world. Look at the snow that generated thanks to the blizzard item. Um, this is what happens when you have a earthquake. And these other things here are the paths left by my tornadoes. So guys, that was pretty much it about today's one command creation, it's actually a two command creation, I know it. If you want to remove it, you just have to right click on the upper sign, where is it? On the upper red sign here, and the whole machine will be generated. And as always guys, I want to thank you all for watching this video until the end, I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. If you did so, don't forget to drop a like under it, and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more one command creation just like this. 
So guys, I think that I will see you all in the next video. See you. Bye.